Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about Quickfire Galaxies. So this is going to be a video that follows on from previous videos on the channel, basically talking about galaxies. So that's pretty much what the video is all about. So let's jump right in and enjoy these galaxies. M32. This is an E2 elliptical galaxy. M32 is a companion galaxy to the Milky Way's largest neighbour, the Andromeda Galaxy, also known as M31. M32 is known as a dwarf elliptical galaxy, because it's only 2,400 light years across, so very small. To put that in comparison, the Milky Way Galaxy is 100,000 light years in diameter. It is located about 2.5 million light years away, in the direction of the constellation Andromeda. M101. This is an SC spiral galaxy. Notice with this galaxy that the spiral arms are rather loose, and how weak the central bulge looks relative to the brightness of the spiral arms. Both characteristics are typical of SC galaxies. M101 is among the largest disk galaxies, with a diameter of 170,000 light years. It is located about 22 million light years away, in the constellation Ursa Major. M65. This SA spiral galaxy is seen at a highly tilted angle. Because of its tilt, the dust in one of its spiral arms, the one that is closest to us, appears to block out the light behind it. This can help give us a sense of how thick the dust is within the disk. Although M65 is viewed at an angle, its spiral arms appear to be fairly wound tight, with little space between them. In addition, its central bulge is very bright, especially when compared to how bright the spiral arms appear. M65 is roughly half the size of the Milky Way, and is located about 35 million light years away in the constellation of Leo. M109. This is a SBC barred spiral galaxy because it has a prominent bar structure passing through its centre. In addition, a ring of stars surrounds the centre, and the outer arms seem to spiral outward from the end of the bar and the ring. The central bulge is rather bright, but fairly small. It is located about 55 million light years away in the constellation of Ursa Major. M82. This chaotic looking irregular galaxy is known as a starburst galaxy because it shows evidence of a recent intense burst of star formation. This burst was caused by its interaction with another galaxy. This galaxy would be M81. M82 is actually a rather small galaxy, only about a quarter of the size of the Milky Way. It contains about one-fifth of the mass of its companion interacting galaxy. It is located about 12 million light-years away, in the constellation of again Ursa Major. M51, also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. This is an SC spiral galaxy, and it is clearly interacting with a much smaller irregular companion galaxy. Notice how its spiral arms, especially the outer ones, appear distorted by the gravitational effects of the companion galaxy. In three dimensions, the companion is actually located well behind the arm that appears to connect the two galaxies. Indeed, some lanes of dust in the spiral arm block light from the companion. The central bulge of M51 is relatively small, and it is not much brighter than the spiral arms. M51 is very similar to the size of the Milky Way, and is located about 22 million light years away in the constellation of the Hunting Dogs. The Large Magellanic Cloud. This is an irregular galaxy, and it is one of the Milky Way's closest companions, located only 160,000 light years away. It has a diameter of about 20,000 light years. It is part of the local group a small grouping of several dozen galaxies, including the Milky Way, that is gravitationally bound together. 
In fact, astronomers now think that the interaction with the LMC may have helped form the bar in the Milky Way's centre. In about a few billion years, the Milky Way will cannibalise the LMC. This irregular galaxy is visible with the naked eye, but only in the Southern Hemisphere. NGC 4565 This is an edge-on galaxy. It is also an SB spiral galaxy. Dust in a thin disk blocks light from the central bulge of stars. All spiral galaxies would look like this if they were seen from the side. NGC 4565 is about the same size of the Milky Way galaxy and is located roughly 31 million light years away. M87 is a giant elliptical galaxy. This is known as a E0 or an E1 and it appears completely circular. Astronomers do not know for sure if elliptical galaxies look the same at all angles, so it's not known for certain if M87 is perfectly spherical, or if it might just look more flattened if viewed from another angle. This is over 100,000 light years across, and M87 may contain enough matter to make trillions of suns. It is a prominent member of the Virgo cluster of galaxies, one of the nearest rich groups of galaxies, about 50 million light years away. Astronomers think M87 may have formed from the merger of several spiral galaxies, but this must have happened billions of years ago. It is located in the constellation of Virgo. NGC 4650A This irregular galaxy is a great example of a polar ring galaxy. Only about 100 polar ring galaxies are known to exist. Located about 130 million light years away, NGC 4650A is thought to be the result of a collision between two galaxies at least a billion years ago. The remnants of the galaxy form what looks like a flattened elliptical galaxy in the centre. Gas from the smaller galaxy that came too close was stripped from its original host galaxy and pulled into a ring of gas. So I hope that's given you a great insight into some of the galaxies in our universe. If you'd like to know any more about them, I'll put some links in the description below. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you'd like to support the channel, click subscribe or support our Patreon page. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support.